everyone. Welcome back to Gretchen's Vegan Bakery. Who remembers the good humor strawberry shortcake ice cream popsicle? Yeah, I know you do. I'm sure you've even seen the various recreations of it in cake form over the years, but I'm not sure you've seen a vegan version of that amazingness yet. So sit back and watch it all unfold. This is a four-layer cake, two white cake and two strawberry cake layers, two layers of fresh strawberry compote in between, and white chocolate mousse too. The icing is whipped cream and then the entire cake is coated with crunchy cookie and strawberry goodness. This is a building on recipes project which simply means that we have to get a few recipes pre-made before we can even get to the building of this epic cake. But as usual here at Gretchen's Vegan Bakery I walk you through it step by step so you have no fail results every time. So let's get started with the cake layers. First, the white cake batter for the first two layers, and then I'm going to divide that batter in half and add dehydrated strawberry powder to the other half to make the strawberry cake. As usual, all the recipes are at Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com, so just click the links below this video in the box to grab the written printable versions. I'm using my famous 7 inch cake pans for this cake, but if you only have 8 inch pans, it's totally fine. Your layers will just be slightly thinner, but that's okay. All right, get those cakes baking, and in the meantime, you will start your strawberry compote. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret to the best strawberry compote ever. It's cranberries. Add some cranberries to your strawberry compote for intense color, but also the natural pectin in cranberries is through the roof, so your compote will thicken up so beautifully without any added thickeners. Now, sugar is optional whenever you're making a fruit compote or puree, and you can adjust it as you like or completely leave it out. It really depends on the sweetness of your strawberries that you start out with, and mm, mine weren't very sweet at all here, so I've added about a half a cup of sugar, not to mention and cranberries are tart anyway. At this point your cake should be done baking. Get them cooling while you gather your white chocolate mousse ingredients. Now pay attention here because this is where I get really smart and really efficient, but you have to see how I'm dividing up this recipe. Now first of all, if you can get your hands on this new Silk brand whipping cream, it is life. I am telling you, game changer right here. But if you can't get it, you can fall back on my recipes and the entire blog post for vegan whipping cream is on my website just click the links below I have several options for everyone because I understand that not everybody can get all the same ingredients originally we were all using coconut milk refrigerated overnight to get that fat separated and then you have instant coconut whipping cream so that's an option but I also do have a couple of recipes on my blog but seriously if you can get the silk whipping cream it is a lifesaver so that's what I'm doing here I'm using two pints because I do need two cups of whipped cream for the mousse and then the rest is going to be the icing on the cake. Are you following me? Don't worry, the written instructions are also there for you on my website so I've got your back double time here. Just be sure to take out that two cups of whipped cream and reserve the rest in the refrigerator for later for the icing. Okay, so for the mousse, get the plant milk and the agar powder together and then that has to get boiled up. Now I've got my vegan white chocolate melted and then to that I'm going to add that boiled hot hot plant milk agar mixture and whisk it really fast and vigorously because agar will set instantly if you don't keep it moving or if it starts to get cooled. Now you will have to work fairly quickly here but the chocolate should not be super hot when you add in the whipped cream and as you see mine was actually a little too hot so the whipped cream got kind of melty but it's okay I just whipped it all together and then immediately started building my cake. Now I am doing this in a ring mold because when working with these many layers with soft fillings that need to set it's just really best to build a cake like this in a cake ring mold. But if you don't want to buy something new I totally get it just use a spring form pan with the bottom removed it's essentially the same thing. I will encourage you though to invest in these acetate cake strips for projects just like this one it's almost imperative. 
All right, now with the white cake layer first and then a nice hefty portion of that cooled strawberry compote, a strawberry cake layer, more compote, and then the first layer of chocolate mousse goes on. The other layer of strawberry cake, and this cake was actually getting really tall, so I had to add another tier of the acetate cake strip to keep building this thing up. Hey, it's not called the Tower of Love for nothing. This cake is epic. Hey, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you agree, and comment below with your thoughts on this recipe. Will you be attempting this one yourself? All right, now into the freezer it all goes to set up, and I'd say give it about an hour at least to do so. And in the meantime, we're not done yet, you're going to make your cake coating. That's the awesome cookie crunch with strawberries to make this whole cake into that strawberry shortcake crunch that we all know and love. With more dehydrated strawberries, with the golden sandwich cookies, just to a medium grind. Keep it slightly chunky, but take out any of those really big chunks that remain. Not too powdery or you'll lose the entire effect. Now to ice the cake with that reserved whipped cream and we're almost there. I absolutely love this Silk Brand whipping cream. It is so easy. I'm sorry if you can't get it and I'm talking about it so much. I also couldn't get it for a really long time but recently found it in the stores. But again, don't forget, I have an entire blog post about all the vegan whipping cream options that you can use, so don't worry if you can't get one or the other. I've got you covered, and they all work interchangeably here. All right, so now load it up with that cookie strawberry crunch. Just get it all over the place, including the floor. It's inevitable. But honestly, it really doesn't need any more decoration than this. This cake really speaks for itself, and when you taste it, it is so good that you will actually be speechless. I'm not sure I've had a better cake in ever, and that's saying a lot from a full-blown chocoholic. This cake is so moist, it's so soft and packed with strawberries, and the white chocolate mousse is not too sweet. That whipped cream icing, I mean, I can't say enough about this cake. So I really hope you're going to try it. It's really not as hard as it may seem. It's just a lot of steps, but stick with me and take it one thing at a time, and before you know it, you'll be eating this cake for breakfast just like I did. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will. And if you want to see how you can help support this channel so I can continue to make these amazing recipes to share with everyone, check out my Patreon page too. Speaking of Patreon, I cannot end a video without a special thank you to my supporters who are already there cheering me on. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, that's it for me today. Until next time, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.